It's the big day, your wedding day. After months of planning, the church is beautifully decorated, the guests are all abuzz, and the wedding cake has been safely guarded from that adorable flower girl and ring bearer. Now all that's left is to make sure that you, the blushing bride, has the traditional something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue before you waltz down that aisle. Where did this tradition come from? I'm glad you asked. This sweet, superstitious sonnet surfaced during the Victorian era. The same time, two classic wedding songs hit the scene. England's Queen Victoria's daughter, Victoria, had the wedding of the mid-19th century. Her fiancé was Prince Frederick of Prussia. The ceremony was held at the elegant Chapel Royale in St. James Palace. The guest list included the who's who's of royalty, and the wedding cake was over seven feet tall. During this era, music was played only after the ceremony at the reception. But Princess Vicky went for different. She was quite fond of the music of Felix Mendelssohn and Richard Wagner, and so she decided to have Wagner's bridal chorus, fondly known as Here Comes the Bride, played as she proceeded down the aisle, and then Mendelssohn's wedding march performed as the newlyweds headed off to the throne room to begin their lives as the world's newest monarchy power couple. Little did Princess Victoria know that she would affect wedding soundtracks for years to come. Now how the chicken dance became a custom, I don't for the life of me know. But what I do know is that marriage itself is as old as the Garden of Eden. So when the flowers in your bouquet have begun to wilt, and you're dusting the rice off his tux, hoping that you didn't forget a single tradition, remember that the two have become one flesh. And if a tradition created by a princess can last over a hundred years, that which God has joined together will last a lifetime. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next episode of Musical Time Machine.